Today we're going to show you how to use the alignment tools in Photoshop to create beautiful designs. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to perfectly align text and objects to your images as well as selections. You won't have to guess when lining anything up in Photoshop. These alignment tools are super powerful. So we're starting off with our background image. The first thing I want to do is create some text. So we're going to hit T for the type tool. I'm going to click here and I'm just going to type in explore. There we go and hit enter. So we're going to hit explore. And then you know what I'm going to do is right here on my text layer. I'm going to hit control or command J, use my move tool and just move that straight down. And then I'm going to just go ahead and change that text. We're just going to say the world awaits and hit enter. All right, so we get some text here, explore and the world awaits. And I wanna just align this with my image. We're gonna do one more thing and that's gonna grab our rectangle tool here. We're just gonna click and drag a rectangle just like that. I'm gonna go ahead right over here. We can choose to add a radius or I actually like to use this control here and then just click and drag to add a radius there. Let's go to our layers. I'm gonna put that below these two layers and simply lower the opacity. So we've got the makings of the, you know, like a nice little advertisement, a little image and things like that. And I want to make sure everything aligns beautifully with my image. So we're going to start off by showing you how to align objects within each other. And then we're going to move to show you how to align them with selections. And then we're going to be doing groups. Okay. So for now, let's go ahead and turn this rectangle off really quick. And we're going to show you how to align object uh, layers within each other. Okay. So let's say we take this explore layer. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Let's go ahead and take this explore layer. And we're just going to put this right over here and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now where it says the world awaits, I want this text to right align to the explore. Basically, I want to make sure where explore ends on the right hand side. That's where the world awaits is going to also right align. So what we're going to do is simply shift click on both of those layers. Now, all of your alignment tools are located as an option within the move tool. So we're going to hit V for the move tool, or you can simply click here right on your move tool. And here you have all of your different alignment tools. So let's say we want explore and the world awaits to be aligned over to the right hand side. So here you can see I can align to the left, to the vertical center, to the right, top, horizontal center or the bottom. So if I want them both to align to the right, I'm going to simply click on this icon. Now, because I have two layers selected, it's going to choose the layer that's already most right aligned. It's not going to move that layer at all. It's going to move the other layer to match it. So let's go ahead and click there. And here we can see the world weights moves to the right hand side. Now this is a little bit low. So let's say we want to move this up a little bit. We're not going to use an alignment tools for that. What you can do is use your arrow tools, okay? Or you can simply use your trackpad. We'll show you how to do both. Okay, so your arrow tools on your keyboard. If I just hit the up arrow a few times, let's make sure we click on just the world awaits here. So just that layer's moving. If I use my up arrow, I'm just pressing it a bunch of times. It's gonna move it just straight up. We already aligned it to the right-hand side. I don't need to move it any other way. Just straight up and down is gonna work. You can also hold shift and click and move that straight up and down. And that's going to move that by 10 pixels at a time. So that's going to be a little bit faster. Now, the next thing you can do is you can hold shift and then click on your trackpad or your mouse and then click and drag this straight up and down. And then if you wanted, you can move this straight left and right. And you can even go at a diagonal. But we're just going to click and drag holding shift and move that straight up and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Explore the world awaits. Fantastic. Now let's say we want the world awaits to be aligned on the left hand side of my explore text. So we're going to hold, simply hold shift and click on both of these layers. Again, keep in mind when you have multiple layers selected, they're going to align based on the boundaries of those layers. So in this case, explore is all the way here to the left. So if I go to my alignment tools, again, go to your move tool, and I'm going to left align them, it's not going to move Explorer at all. What it's just going to do is it's going to move the world away. So let's go ahead and show you how the center alignment works and how the right alignment works. So it's a really, really powerful way to align your text. All right, and that's looking really good. 
Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn on our rectangle. So let's turn on this rectangle here and let's go ahead and move that right about there. For now, we're going to be changing and moving some things around as well. Now, let's say we like explore and the world awaits. We like the spacing between those two lines, but I want to align both of these lines centered in with this rectangle. OK, now centered in with this rectangle and we can see I have just a little bit of space on the top of this rectangle, but I have a lot of space on the bottom of that rectangle. So I want to make sure it's aligned so it's going to be in the center of the rectangle. Now, here's one thing that you might think, hey, why don't I just hold shift and click on all three of these layers and then choose to align them across the horizontal center. But if I do that, let's see what happens. Boop. What that did now is it took each one of these individual layers and aligned them all to be centered around the largest icon or the largest object, which in this case is the rectangle. That's not what we want. Let's hit Control or Command Z to hit undo. We want Explore and the world awaits to stay exactly where they are. Like we want those to be basically a group, one object, and that object I want to be aligned here within this rectangle. And to do that, all we have to do is create a group. So what we're gonna do is make sure we click on Explore. I'm gonna hold Shift and click on The World Awaits. Next, we can simply click on our group icon right down here in our Layers panel or hit Control or Command G. And I'm just gonna double click and call this text. Fantastic. So I can open up my text. We can see we have The World Awaits and Explore. I can still work with those as much as I'd like. But now what we're gonna do is align this text group with the rectangle. So let's go ahead and hold shift and click on both of those. So it's gonna treat this entire group as one object. So instead of basically putting explore and then the world awaits right in the middle of that, it's going to keep explore and the world awaits exactly how they're lined up now. And then it's gonna align them to this rectangle. Okay, so again, we have the text in a group. Let's go ahead and shift click and click on the rectangle as well. And now we're going to go ahead and center align them vertically. Boop. And there we go. Now we can see this group is perfectly centered aligned within this rectangle. Keep in mind, if I wanted to right align, I could do that. It's going to do it again to the rectangle. If I want to left align, I could do that. OK, if I want to center align, I could do that as well. Now, other cool things that we could do, let's say we want to go ahead and open up our text and have everything centered aligned. OK, in this case, I really could just hold control or command and click on all of those. OK, I'm not selecting the group. I'm literally selecting all those layers and then I'm going to hit center line and then everything's going to center line with themselves. OK, so even something is in a group, you can still work with that. Again, let's click on this world awaits and hold control or command to click on explore. And I'm going to go ahead and right align those. There we go. And then I can take this entire group. Maybe I want to move that over to the right hand side. And again, I can put this anywhere I want to. So let's say I put that in right over there. Explore the world awaits. I can hold shift and I have this group. Now with this rectangle, I can right align that. And then I can hold shift and bring that up. Let me just make sure I clicked on just the text. Hold shift and bring that up. And then if I wanted to go ahead and center line that, I could do that here as well. So you can see all of those options allow me to align things with each other. And this is a fantastic way to work with alignment in Photoshop. But the other cool way to work with alignment in Photoshop is with selections. And here's where things get even more powerful. So let's say we have a selection that we want to make. I'm going to go ahead and make a selection. We're going to hit M for the marquee tool, and I'm going to make a selection right around here. OK, let's just zoom in so you can see how everything looks. All right. So we have a selection. You can see it starts up over here, goes to right over here and then down to here. Now, let's say we have our text and our rectangle. We want to treat all that as one unit now. So let's hit Control or Command G to group all that together. And we'll just call this text with box. Fantastic. So now I have text with box as an entire group. And because I made a selection around this area, anytime you have a selection active, if you use your alignment tools, it's going to automatically align to that selection. So we have a selection. I've clicked on my text with box group. Let's go back to our move tool and here we'll see our alignment. 
So I could center align this, and you can see this entire group is going to be centered aligned with, or sorry, left aligned with the selection. So I could left align, and here I could top align, and it's gonna be perfectly aligned within the selection that I've made. I could right align, I could go back to center, and I could hit center again. Now this is a really good way. Let's hit Control or Command D to deselect, or you can simply click on deselect right here. Now let's say we have this explore the world awaits. Let's say we want this to be perfectly centered in our entire document. Here's how you would do that. Simply hit Control or Command A to select all, or you can go to select and then down to select all. That literally will just make a selection of your entire document. Then with this text box selected, I could simply center align it here. There we go, and center align it here, vertically and horizontally. And now I know that this text is gonna be perfectly centered within my selection. So it's an extremely powerful way to use alignment controls, either with the individual controls themselves or within a selection. So now let's go ahead and give you an overview. We're gonna move everything and then align everything back together and show you how great this looks. So let's go ahead. What I wanna do first here is we're gonna click on our Flamingo background layer. I'm gonna to go to where it says select subject here. There we go, select subject, and it's gonna go ahead and select out my Flamingo. Next, I'm gonna click my text with box group. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click right here on my layer mask op. There we go, and it's gonna put the text behind our subject. So that's a really nice effect. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. And then I'm literally just gonna take everything and move it around. So we're gonna put that over there, we're gonna put that over here, and we're gonna put this rectangle right over here. Okay, so let's say we wanna just put everything, just in, uh, we wanna make it have a little bit more sense, and I'm gonna change the scale of some of this stuff too. So this rectangle, let's hit Control or Command T, let's go ahead and scale this down just a little bit right over here, and hit Enter, and I'd say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I want Explore, and the world awaits to be centered align with this box. So how are we gonna do that? All I have to do is hold control or command to turn this rectangle into a selection. So remember earlier we used the marquee tool to make a selection, okay, of a given area. But if you wanna turn any layer into a selection, simply hold control or command and then click on that and then it turns it into a selection and here you have a selection. So now we have explore and we can go ahead and hit our V tool or the move tool right over here. And I can center align that vertically to explore and center align that horizontally. And we can see, perfect, we're looking really good. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and get the world awaits right aligned with explore, I could very easily do that. I could do that, go ahead and just simply hold control or command and then select explore and then go to the world awaits and then right align that, there we go or because I have two layers selected, I actually don't even need to make a selection. I can just simply shift click both of those layers and I can right align and explore is gonna stay in the same place and it's gonna right align the world awaits to explore. Fantastic. Let's hit V for our move tool. I'm gonna hold shift and click and drag right down there. That looks good. Now this entire group, this text group, let's go ahead and zoom in. I just need to make it a little bit smaller. No big deal. Controller command T for our transform. Let's just make that just a little bit smaller hit enter and move that right over here. That looks good. I like that it's kind of like behind the flamingo's head a little bit, but I wanna make sure top and bottom it's perfectly aligned within this rectangle. So what we're gonna do is simply hold control or command to select this rectangle. And then now, because we have both of these text layers in a group, they're both going to work at the same time. So I can go ahead and click here and I can say perfectly align them across the horizontal center, boop, and there we go. We can align them across the vertical center. There we go, and everything is perfectly aligned exactly where we want it. So you can see with your alignment tools, you can align any layer to any other layer. You can use groups to treat an entire group of layers and align those to other layers. And don't forget about selections. You can make any type of selection in Photoshop and then align layers and groups to those selections. That's all there is to using the alignment tools in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know in a comment down below what you would like to learn next. If you wanna learn even more advanced Photoshop, check out Flurn Pro. We got over 10 years of amazing tutorials and an exclusive discount for you right down below. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.